Hello everyone, this is Rita Rue of Creative Artmosphere and I'm here today to share with you seven easy steps to drawing a character. Today's subject is Whitney Houston. Let's begin. Step one, draw in the shape of the face. I started with the cheekbones and then I took that line down to the jawbone and rounded it out to the chin. And I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Step two, draw in the neckline. Just two easy lines right there, just like that. Now I've grabbed the pencil and I'm putting my guidelines in for where I want the facial features to go. And I'm using the pencil as well to draw in the eyes. So step three is drawing the eyes. Now if you don't need to use the pencil, that's just fine. Go ahead, skip that step and go right in with your marker. Step four, draw in the nose. Back again with the pencil, and now I'm here with the marker, marking in the nose. Now I'm gonna get a little detail there. I've put the uh, little lines there to indicate the roundness of the nose. And I went back to the eyes to draw in the eyelid. Step five, draw in the mouth. Now step six is to draw in the shape of the hair. We're moving down the home stretch here. This is the very last step before we put in the color. Now drawing hair has always been a uh, challenge for me, but I have resolved to make my, my weaknesses my strengths. Now, what I'm doing here is also drawing in the accessories for Whitney. There's a little pearl necklace around her neck and I'm actually gonna put in her shoulder line here as well. Apologies for the camera not having the full shot of what I'm doing here, but hopefully you can get the gist of what's going on. I'm just putting some clothes on the shoulders now. She's wearing a little, uh, checkered suit so I'm just like laying the foundations to uh, put those details in with the coloring when I'm at that stage Now here I'm going back to Whitney's eyes and I'm adding the eyelashes in. Her eyes on the picture that I'm looking at, her lashes are very long so I wanted to indicate that her eyes look made up. So I'm putting more lashes in and making them a tad bit longer than what they are. Step seven is to add the color in. I've got a flesh tone uh, marker, well it's not a marker, it's a flesh tone pencil. 
woodless pencil and I'm just going in over her skin tone there and putting in the mid tones around her eyes and from where her hair covers up her face and then I'm going in the neckline there and adding um, the mid tone as well I'm putting the same color on her lips because she has a, a natural lipstick on uh, it's not red or anything like that it kind of matches her skin so I'm just putting in a slight hint of pink as well for the highlight areas the highlighted areas that is I'm actually going in on her hair now with a lighter colored I'm starting with the light color and then going in with the another color as well there's about maybe three colors in her hair there um, beautiful uh, hair coloring and uh, I'm trying to uh, render that as well as can for a character drawing I want it to be uh, somewhat realistic well realistic enough to know that she's got carols and the directions of how they're falling around her face I've also added a background I just added a little circle to bring more attention to her face and that was a lime green color and I'm signing the artwork there thank you so much for watching this has been Rita Rue of Creative Artmosphere bye for now